This is honestly pretty disgraceful. Not just to Jack Kirby and his creations, but to minority people in general. And uh, we're going to kind of get into that in with this article here. So, majority of Marvel's Eternals cast are race and gender swapped from Jack Kirby's original creation. At San Diego Comic-Con, Marvel Studios rolled out their cast list for the upcoming Eternals and revealed most of the characters have been either race swapped or gender swapped for J from Jack Kirby's original creation. Once again, if this doesn't show you what kind of an agenda, a woke agenda, Hollywood has, Marvel... Marvel has now, then I don't know what's going to show you that. So, during their Hall H presentation, Marvel confirmed the rumor that Game of Thrones actor Richard, Richard Madden would play Icarus. Icarus? In a twist, Angelina Jolie was announced to take on the role of Thena instead of the previous reports that she would play Cersei. The rest of the announced cast include Camille uh, Nanji Nanjiani as... Uh, as Kingo, Lauren Ridloff as Makari, Brian T Tyree, Henry as Fastos, Salma Hayek as Ajak, and Leah McHugh as Sprite, and Don Lee as Gilgamesh. So, here you have the, the cast. Um, so, you know, a lot of these have been altered, have been changed from who they originally were. Um, basically just to give minorities characters to, to be so that they can fill their woke card and get their woke points. That's pretty much the only reason that they're doing this. They're giving these people established characters that have already been established who aren't the minority types of characters that these people are. And they are basically just giving them hand-me-downs, hand-me-down characters. That's pretty much all they're doing. That is pretty much all they're doing. So... You know, that's that's just, like I said, that's disgraceful. That's disgraceful to minorities because that isn't, that isn't, it just shows that they don't trust minorities with having original characters or basing them off of already established minority characters in the comics. And Marvel doesn't trust them with that because at the end of the day, just like every other studio in Hollywood, they don't care about your gender. They don't care about what kind of a minority you are. The only thing that they care about is money. And they are clearly continuing to do this in Hollywood over and over and over again because they know that's the only way that they continue to, that they can continue to make money. We're seeing that with, you know, things like James Bond and The Little Mermaid and all these types of stories where they are replacing these already established characters with some sort of minority type of character, and they aren't giving them original types of stories and original types of characters. We're seeing this again and again and again in Hollywood. So, and I don't understand. I don't understand why more minorities would be happy about this, you know? Like, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be better for you to get some sort of original type of character who's a minority or an already established minority character? Like, wouldn't that make you feel better? Like, I don't understand why why because basically you're just saying that 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 white hollywood is still continuing to help minorities in ways that they think that they can't do themselves. That's <laughs> that's just so insulting, you know? Being someone who's not even a minority type of person, that's insulting. Like <laughs> I don't understand how people are okay with this, you know. Um anyway, Lauren Ridloff's Macari is now female, black and deaf. This, if this doesn't show you how woke they're going, then I don't know what's going to. Camille Najiana's uh, Kingo is now Indian instead of Japanese. Wait, what? That's weird. Selma Hayek's Ajak is now female, Hispanic, and Lebanese. Don Lee's Gilgamesh is now Asian. And Leah McHugh's Sprite is now female and a young girl instead of a boy. <sighs> Wait, it's now female and a young girl? That's actually kind of funny. That actually sounds really funny. So, instead of female and a young boy, it's female and a young girl. Okay, got it, got it. <laughs> I love bounding to comics, but that was that was kind of a funny, that was kind of a funny uh, sen sentence there. The miscast of Kingo is such a waste opportunity, especially when you think of those they could have put the role instead. For example, Ken w Watanabe has experience playing a samurai as seen in The Last Samurai with K Tom Cruise. You also have Takeshi Kaneshiro, who, if you have seen House of Flying Daggers, you know that he had the chops to bring Kingo to life. Yeah, it's really weird. 
it's actually really weird that they're replacing Kingo with an Indian. Like, and that just goes to show that that actually, actually, this is something that's actually pretty true. Asians really do not get respect from SJWs and the woke community. They really don't. Like, and that's because Asians, for the most part, don't allow themselves to become victimized. And instead, they they go out there and they make their their way, you know. And that's actually something that's really respectable about Asians. And that's why that's why SJWs and leftists don't necessarily view Asians the same way as other minorities because because they don't victimize themselves. And uh, that's 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 what Hollywood and SJWs and leftists wants to do want to do. They want minorities to, to feel victimized so that they can fit into their narrative. And Asians usually don't typically do that. So it's it's just kind of weird and it goes to show that this is another case of that where instead of having someone who's already established as a Japanese character, they're replacing them with an Indian. That is just super bizarre. I didn't even realize that. That is so crazy. That is so crazy. Anyway... These are these are crazy times. These are weird. This is weird stuff going on, and it just goes to show that this is the direction that Hall, that Marvel's moving in. They want to get woke. That's exactly what they're planning on doing. Um, and uh, yeah, this is this is what we can expect from Marvel moving forward. Uh, so. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this? What do you think about the direction that Marvel is moving in? What do you think about the changes that have been made with Eternals? Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, everyone. It's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.